Righto. Slight disruption to your side's preparations for this one. You're now kicking off at noon on a Sunday. How has that affected you and the team? Oh, probably, you know, I think it, it benefited us because we had an extra day to rest. So we had a day off yesterday. We trained on uh, Thursday, day of Friday, training on Saturday, flying on Saturday. So from that point of view, I think it was uh, good for us. Um, the kick of time, it's a kick of time. You know, we, we just need to be ready. We need to be, obviously, physically, I think we are ready now. Just mentally be ready for that. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll try our best to prepare them for, for the earlier kickoff. Um, and at least it's, it's done and dusted. Uh, and we can head home and get home, you know, the same night, Sunday night. Acknowledging that the APL probably didn't have much choice in the matter surrounding the kickoff, but I imagine it would have been nice if it was simultaneous with Adelaide and Sydney. Wouldn't it have been so they could? You, Adelaide would have had something to play for in the event that you guys win. Yeah, look, it, it was nice to see Melbourne victory game at the same time as Perth glory game, and you can go from one from one game to the other, and and I think it was exciting, and and maybe that that's something that could they could, could have done. But obviously, you know, I, I'm not privileged to to know all the ins and outs with, uh, uh, you know, the Channel 10 and, and Paramount and how does that work? So they, they had their reasons and, and we, we trust them that they're going to do the best they can for the, for the good of the game in this country. Coming out of the uh, game midweek, Rado, you mentioned some blisters post-game in that game against the Jets. Any latent injury concerns or fitness concerns coming out of that one? No, 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 no major concerns. We're just uh, going to wait for to see girls this morning and uh, and then we're going to finalise the squad who's going to travel. And then once we get there, we're going to probably finalise the, the starting eleven. Uh, we're going to try to give some of them as, as, as much time as, as they need. Um, so, you know, it's a little bit uh, hard to prepare because uh, it has been a little bit disruptive um, few days. Uh, but, yeah, we, we're going to try our best and, and make sure that players are not exposed to any, any risks because we are leading into the finals. Uh, and, but also we need to win the game. So it's, uh, you know, we'll try our, our best to make, maintain and, and, and stay on the path. Mm. Obviously, there are some difficult circumstances, but it was still a slow start from your girls against the Jets. The Jets could have had a couple in that first half. What's been their reaction on the training track after that? How have they responded? Look, you know, from from physical point of view, we probably did the more meters than what we did in past. Uh, but I think the the biggest challenge was mental challenge, and 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 that's where we were hit hard. So we, we, we try to refresh them as much as we could this, this uh, you know, reminding few days between two games. And, and now we'll, we'll just see how they, they rock up today. You know, we had some girls affected with floods in Queensland. We had some niggling injuries, you know, so there's always something going on. Uh, but, you know, hopefully now that we are traveling, we're going to be in the hotel environment. Um, you know, we got an early start today. We're going to get there earlier. We're going to spend a little bit more time together. You know, so hopefully they can all put behind them or at the back of their mind uh, are all those little things that are maybe on their mind now and then just purely concentrate on the game. And, and if we can play to our best, then uh, I, I say we would have uh, every right to expect to win the game. Maybe just the last one from me. Wanderers. Obviously, the season hasn't gone the way that the Wanderers would have liked it to. You'd be heavy favourites to win the day. How do you stop complacency seeping into your girls' minds? Yeah, as I said, it, it won't be complacency because, uh, you know, we disrespected them. Uh, I think it would just be how mentally focused we are, you know, and, and if we can get that side right then uh, then we should have a, a good good game good performance and we would have every chance to win the game